So we're going to look at the next question now. Um, and this one's kind of hard to see. And Dalton, if you'll be able to see it better. But we have to find the area of this shaded region. Now, we're going to think of this in two different ways. The first way is subtraction. So I can think of this shaded region, the region I just made green, as the rectangle, the whole rectangle, minus this triangle. So I'm going to write it out that way. So we have rectangle minus triangle. So the area of the rectangle is base is 16 and height is 17. So we have 16 times 17. For my triangle, I know it's 1 half base times height. So I'm going to write down my 1 half. The base of this triangle is 16. And the height of this triangle, we can't see directly now, but if the whole side, this whole side here is 17 and this piece is 9, 17 minus 9 is 8, which is what I can put here for the height. So we're going to do 1 half of 16 times 8, and then we can get our answer. So 16 times 17 um, equals 272. And then we're subtracting 1 half of 16 times 8, which is 64. So my final answer when I subtract those two is 208 b squared. Now, another way you could think of this is you could kind of ignore that, that triangle, the red triangle at the bottom, and you could divide the actual green shaded region into a rectangle and a triangle. So here, I'm adding this rectangle to this triangle. So we're going to set it up like that. Um, either way is fine. You can pick whichever one you like more. So the rectangle that's up here, I would do the base here is 16 and the height is 9. So we have 16 times 9. Now we're adding on the blue triangle that's here. So we're going to do plus the triangle. And so the triangle's area is 1 half. My base of this triangle is 16. And then we already found out I can put this 8 over here, right? And that's the height. So that would be the same. So this is 8. So in this method, 16 times 9 is 144. 1 half of 16 times 8 is 64. And if I add these two together, I get 208 feet squared, which is the same answer as when I use that subtraction method, whole minus the triangle. So hopefully this wasn't confusing. I just wanted to show you there's multiple ways to look at that problem.